you could see a million doctors and no one's going to know. Imagine recovering from COVID only to go on to develop new symptoms and not know what's happening. And then doctors tell you there's no cure. Well, nearly 30% of people who have recovered from coronavirus are still living with symptoms. Nicole Ford met a long hauler who's putting a face on the long-term impact of the virus on people's health. Good, and you're breathing okay? Yes. One year, 50 doctors and months of unanswered questions. I was like a little overweight and I had mild asthma before, so I was like, okay, it's not surprising to me that I'm getting hit a little bit harder. This month marks one year since 37-year-old Jared Arfa's COVID diagnosis. He now works remotely from his New York apartment and spends time with his family. But 365 days later, his journey is far from over. I'd get like in the middle of walking a block and my heart would, would get to like 170. You know, in some ways it was vertigo-like, but in other ways it, it, it wasn't. It's very hard to describe the dizziness of just standing up and it's like, oh my God. Turns out he now has POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's a condition that quite literally puts you on your back. And they feel as if they're going to pass out, if they feel uncomfortable, uh, if they feel vertiginous, but there's no explanation that their blood pressure has dropped. Researchers estimate about 3 million people in the United States suffer from POTS, and that number is expected to explode. So the most common trigger of POTS is a viral infection, and this includes viruses like influenza, Epstein-Barr, enterovirus, parvovirus, and COVID-19. Dr. Svetlana Bleachstein is one of the researchers studying this common syndrome for some long haulers. These patients are young people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who were healthy or had minor medical problems that didn't affect their life before COVID. And now after have it, having acute infection, they are experiencing severe fatigue. To date, UBMC and Allegheny Health Network's neuro departments have not seen any cases of post-COVID POTS, but Dr. Bleachstein says there are likely dozens of undiagnosed ones in our area. And a lot of the times these patients will be diagnosed with uh, anxiety, depression, or it's all in your head, but understand that no, th these symptoms are real and that you need to be diagnosed and treated. In fact, anxiety was the first diagnosis doctors gave Jared. He knew it was more than that and now encourages other long haulers to be your own advocate. I'd say to anybody else is, you know, as much as I want to be just wanted to be in bed or as scared as I felt, just push yourself to go to the doctors and find out as much as possible. So what does the future look like for these long haulers? While there's no cure for POTS, researchers are still looking for answers. Jared tells me with each day he starts to feel better, but he's hopeful he won't have to live with this for the rest of his life. In Allegheny County, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.